Order, and I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the subject of my special order. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are here today to talk about the importance of this historic moment indeed. This historic moment of where we will be investing, investing in our children, investing in our planet, investing in our future. We are talking about the Build Back Better agenda. I want to begin by talking about my district, which is made up of beautifully diverse rural communities. My district is the size of Pennsylvania, but my communities in this district are rich in culture and rich in love. But you know what? They've also been historically left behind with little investments made to improve their lives and to allow them to thrive. New Mexican values are rooted in caring for each other. We know that we invest in what we care about. We know we invest in what we believe in. Well, we must invest in addressing the climate crisis because in my district, we know that agua es vida, water is life. Our farmers and ranchers are depending on us to act and preserve their water resources. Communities along our rivers, along our acequias, need us to pass a Build Back Better plan that tackles the crisis head on so that we can preserve the water flowing from our mountains and cascading along our streams for decades to come to feed our ranches, to feed our farmers, to quest our thirst. In these same communities, people often come back home to care for their loved ones, their parents and grandparents. I've heard their stories. We ask them, why did you come back? It's because there was nobody else available to care for my grandmother. There was nobody else to care for my tia. And we know that that care is full-time job on its own. So what does it take to go to work in rural America? It's more than just roads and bridges. It's comprehensive paid family and medical care. It's investments in long-term care and affordable child care. In my state, 53% of people live in a child care desert. 71% of rural families live in areas without enough licensed child care providers. We can change that. The Build Back Better plan must invest in our rural communities. It will invest in our rural communities. We are talking about this plan empowering our rural regions, including our tribal nations, with the resources they know to grow their economies. Expanding access to affordable health care, lowering prescription drug prices, and making housing affordable. We can do this for our communities now. Ora, now we can make this happen. We made progress with the American Rescue Plan, but we cannot stop there. We must build back better. And it's not enough to go back where we were because we know that where we were wasn't good enough. So we need to make sure that the child tax, care does, tax credit does not run out. We cannot kick our children who came out of poverty, 50% of the children in poverty in my state came out, and I'm not willing to tell them, I'm sorry, the clock struck 12 and you must go back into living in poverty. No, we must include an expansion and extension of the child tax credit and the Build Back Better Act. You know, those children who were living in poverty are coming out. We also need to make sure that those children in rural America get the early pre-K that they need, and that's what Build Back Better we do, will do. So the question I ask is simple. Do we want to keep an economy that serves only the wealthiest people and corporations, or do we finally give our families a fair shot to truly vibe, thrive? As I said, we invest in the things we believe in, well, we believe in our youngest children, we believe in our workers, we believe in the promise that lies in each of our communities. I'm glad to be on the floor with my Progressive Caucus colleagues this evening to shine a light on the brilliance of the Build Back Better agenda. At this time, I yield to my good friend from Texas.